Hi, I'm Vince, and welcome to our channel. Today's video will be about the battery and how I was able to get an extra battery under the hood of this Grand Caravan. We'll start by looking at the battery mount since we're here. And I can't completely show you because there's a piece of uh, metal that I have glued with uh, JB Weld. And it's covering the way this is anchored, but but I basically made a angle iron box square. It's it's attached above the motor mount, right under right about here. If I can feel it, yeah, or right about out here. There's a motor mount underneath this, and it has a stud sticking up. I I took advantage of that stud to help anchor this, and then it's also bolted over here. You got to get creative. The reason I have enough room to put that battery because this is the air box. This is the air box that goes in there. It sits just like this. Normally, where I've put this air filter, this hooks to that. So I've used all the same. I used all the same components. I just removed this box. The trade-off is, is engines are very noisy, and this box silences the, the van motor tremendously. So the trade-off is now, our van is, when you're climbing a mountain, it sounds like you're in a small airplane because of the motor sound. But for me, it was worth the, the trade-off. This is the air filter that we're using now. I think it's K&N, I'm not sure. It's pretty small. I've even, you can even see I've done some modifications to, because I'm using the original uh, boot. I actually used some silicone to make sure things were sealed up. And then I, I actually put this tube, which is, it, it's accessing uh, the motor's uh, tube, so. And you can see it's even got a little depression in it right there where so I'm even forcing it. It's 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 ending up right here. It's ending up right down in there. So it's a squeeze, no doubt. But it worked. So and I would prefer to have my extra battery under the hood. Now I did choose to put the inverter all the way at the back of the vehicle, which to do that, you have to run a very large, in this case, I had welder's cable and most people are not gonna have access to this. And the only reason I had it was because I had bought it at a, a, a scrap a garage sale or something. And with this, I can bring the large cable all the way to the back of the van use the inverter i would suggest to most people to try to put your inverter as close to the battery as you possibly can in fact if you're only going to use the car battery you could even put the inverter over here where we're putting the extra battery use this space for an inverter as long as you, it's got good ventilation but the closer you can put the inverter to the battery It'll be less expensive and way more efficient. You can see this red, the one I've wrapped with tape to identify it, runs to the, the positive side of the inverter. The, the negative side is simply a ground strap. You just, anything can be just run right to the, any metal of the vehicle. You only have one wire on 12 volt cars that you have to worry about, and that is the positive. Anytime you ground anything to any body part, you're getting your ground. So the positive wire, this large wire, runs all the way up to the battery. And it's this same big, uh, huge welder's, it's called welder's lead. This, this was kind of funny because a comment came in that this was a, a flux capacitor. 
and we thought that was very funny and we started calling it that so now this is the flux capacitor I feel like I was very descriptive in the original video of how this positive line runs to the house battery and then this positive line runs to the car battery and when you throw this switch together you connect those two and make it one battery this is how tall the battery is that I used I don't know that they're all this short but it's important that I stayed because there's not a lot of clearance left but between the hood so you do have to stay with a short battery there's the right that's all the information of the battery um, optimum a battery that can be tipped too because this battery is not setting level where I put it it is tipped a little bit so you do have to have a sealed battery okay thanks for watching that that completes the electrical system and the next system will be the water um, we're going to tear the back end apart and kind of show how the tanks i'll show you the pumps and so that that's coming up thank you for watching